but he did look like a pile of garbage. Compared to Gerald Mearshart, who looked lean at lean. 185. Yeah. yeah. Big at 185 and muscular and just, you know, way hotter. Hey, <laughs> say that one more time slower. <laughs> Wait, what? Gerald okay, Mearshart looks like he only arrests black people. <laughs> that's, 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 He's the guy that goes like, let me turn this camera off. Exactly. Kind of guy. Colby did a video talking about his wife and stuff, and everyone's like, ugh, Colby sucks. Ian decided to respond. Can I say this right now? Go ahead. After I saw this video, I unfollowed him. <laughs> that's how corny this was. I couldn't get through it. He is trying to be the heel and the hero. You yeah. have to pick, pick one. one. So now everybody hates you. If you were his manager, where would you steer him? And you're also Irish. Go ahead. Divorce your wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Podcast. We are an MMA combat sports show hosted by very casual fans. Two of us have foreskin. One of us does not. If you can tell from the eyes, we know who we're talking to. Dude, comment below who you think has foreskin or not. Great. Do you ever wonder where your foreskin went? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see, we know where our roots are. We can look back to the Old Testament. No, yeah, this is where we're grounded in. Right where you, you go to sleep. No. You don't know where your rest of your body is. That's Holy shit. crazy. Is there like a 23 <laughs> add-on? I hope it's with the good. I hope it's with a good family. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who he is now. You see a family watering it. Yeah. Years later. <laughs> ah, that's so stupid. Honestly, they should have kept the foreskin on. I, your boy needs a couple inches on that thing. No, no consent. You guys are all uncut. Wait, wait, pause. This Ew. is this is really crazy. Ew. You're uncut. We could dock. We could do more than dock. We do bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I didn't have a say. Oh yeah, I didn't that's have a right. Say. They just mutilated you. You're mutilated, bro. Think about it. You're not even a full I don't person. like how you say mutilated. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you're, you're mutilated, not, dude. Nick Dunn mutilated. Full person. You know, I have a scar on my <laughs> I think people that get cut have a scar on their From face. MMA? No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, low-key, though, oh, wow. I did have a really, I did have a very good, no, because you know why? I did have a pretty good uh, record for not getting hit in the balls in the training room. I would never wear cups, and nobody could ever hit me in the balls, yo. Dude, getting I was very proud of that. hurts so bad, man. I, don't I hate it. Yeah, it feels like, it feels like you're going to die for, like, that hot second. But you know the belly feeling. That's the worst feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ooh, I'm just like my my hairs on my back of my head. Do are your wives bit, ever try to sack tap you? No, I think it's funny. That's like, rude. Man. Sack tap is that's kind of a salt. Something. Here we go. Let's so, go. So <laughs> years ago, titty flip. My wife for <laughs> some fucking reason, and I've talked about this before, where she thought it was so funny to just knee me in my balls. There we go. That is not Talk okay. About it. Talk about it. So. We used to get into big fights about this. And she's like, I'm just play fighting. I was like, how about I stick a crowbar up your pussy? <laughs> like, what in what God's name? Yo, that's a little more bro, wild you, than hey, being someone hey, involved. You said a crowbar? What? In the argument. Look at me right now, bro. In the argument. Brother, brother. You, yeah, brother, 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 brother. Brother. You're telling me, you said, what if I put a crowbar in your pussy? That's wild. Or did you just say another noun besides crowbar? I played the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I played the fifth. Michael Clark Duncan. <laughs> I yeah. played the fifth. <laughs> and so one day, my parents come over, and I've told her repeatedly how much this hurts. I was like, you could play, fight, whatever. Don't hit me in the balls. Mm. And so my parents are over, and she fucking knees me in the balls. And I snap. I was like, how many times did I tell you to not knee me in my fucking balls? Mm. And I snap. And then she's like, whatever, quiet. She gets upset, looks at me after she just assaulted me. And then my mom looks at me. She goes, how dare you yell at her? Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. Oh, yeah. you got in trouble? Fuck both you bitch. Can I say something? I'm yeah. kind of on their side. Why? Why you letting her get close? After yeah, she does a one time, bro. big dog, keep that's your you're hand fighting. You're framing on the high guard. You're keeping your hips away, brother. You're not engaging in a clinch with this woman. Let me tell you this, bud. Oh, I didn't know you were supposed to be in my corner. <laughs> You're right. From now on, hugs from behind, okay? Hold up, before you get close, hey, Nick. <laughs> Into my house. What should I do? She's entering the void. Uh, <laughs> circle to the left and then shimmy out to the right. EJ doing breakdowns of this. Uh, David broke the void. Yeah. yeah. You got to hit her with a little hezzy and then just, you know, get to the other side. Yeah, but now I just shadow kick her all the time. Yeah, just you just got to keep teeping her. Even though B. Nguyen says it's stupid. I think it's okay. She ain't married, though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, she's a pro fighter. We we just live in by Yeah, well, the what world, the right? fuck ever. I make people laugh. <laughs> Yeah, keep laughing longer. Keep laughing longer. <laughs> one more time. B, don't watch this and hit me because she really will hit me. <laughs> she was last time because it was a fucking idea. B, can we get you that fight with Paige Van Sant already? We planted the seed and nothing has happened. Maybe we don't have power on the internet. I don't think we no. do at all. And Paige, it's because Paige Van Sant don't want that Asian smoke, dude. Ooh. She don't want that shit. She's too busy showing her pussy, dude. You know what I mean? Which, I think that's a chiller job. 
I think. Yeah, get the crowbar out. I'm just trying to talk <laughs> shit so the fight could happen, dude. That's all. Uh, I love you, Paige Van Zandt. You are a hot little one, and I wish to shake your hand one day. <laughs> Don't like that set. Today, sir. Like you that. are a hot little one. You're a hot, hot little, little one. <laughs> Tumi Vasa versus Tybura. The slam, huh? Let's start uh, at the bottom of the card. You guys watch prelims on this? I watched some. Some of it? Which oh, one? oh, I definitely watched Jafel Filao. Okay. Uh, Filao. Amorim? Oh, Thiago uh, Moises for sure. Yeah, she's a beast too. Amorim uh, had to get two subs in a fight just to win it because your dude, boy. Dude, Jisukawa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> should I Joe say? Got yeah. fucked up, dude. <laughs> dude, also, she's like four weight classes lower than her visually. A hundred percent. What the fuck was that all about? Yeah, and then uh, Amorim uh, got an arm bar or something at some point, and the ref said, stop, then said, oh, wait, never mind. And they proceeded, and then she had to sub her again. Yeah, that was stupid, bro. These refs, man. That's a that's a that's Mike, a hard position. Mike Beltran. Really? Yeah. Wait, so I didn't see the fight. Was she tapping? She tapped. She tapped initially. It looked so bad that it was bending that the ref was like, "Stop!" And then Corey uh, McKenna, uh, she goes, "No!" And he says, "Okay." Yeah. And it keeps going. So the group, is, but fucking uh, Morum, let's go of the submission. I bet if it was a dude, he'd be like, "No, that's over, bro." He'd yeah, done. Like, that's over. That's done. Stop trying to get. Because sometimes if you if you get your arm tweaked and then you like yell. They might stop that fight. I think that's like a verbal tap. I think that is a verbal tap. Yeah, I think I think they might like be like, Ugh! so maybe somebody was like screaming a bit. And you know what, Mike Beltran, I like you. You're actually one of my favorite refs. Just, Great. Just you know what, just stick to your gut. Either way, people aren't gonna like it, but at least you kind of stuck to what you already committed to in the yeah. first place. It would have been fine. And by the way, if she didn't tap, you had that arm snapped in two. Mm. That shit would have been gone, gone. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Hannah just a cow, dude. Work on that arm bar defense. Dude. <laughs> For... I didn't know you could just say no. That's kind of the type. Move. She yeah, really looks that <laughs> nah. That's how scary. Yeah, like was. you're done. No, no. he goes. Oh, he oh goes, okay. He's like, never mind. He oh, goes, yeah. never mind. Maybe I think you might need female refs for that, bro. Oh, yeah. No one's trying to get canceled. You need female refs to to ref female fights. Is that sexist to Are say? Are you gonna hit me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, probably. Is that, and that's why Mario knees that? you in the balls yeah. every time. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Stupid idiot. Crowbar to the pussy. <laughs> uh, did you guys see uh, my beloved brother uh, Josh Kulibau fight? Did you guys see this fight? No, no, I didn't. Ah, get this one. I what'd you? What'd you? What to, give us? Give us your take, bro. Split oh, decision. Kulibau. First time really watching a fight. That guy got movement. He's sick. He's, He's very active. Movement. I honestly th thought he won the fight, but Danny Silva took it. Danny Silva must be good because Josh is fucking good, dude. Yeah. Bro. Good footwork. I mean, Danny was like missing, overthrowing, and uh, I don't know how they gave it to him, but maybe you guys can watch it and tell me next time. Uh, did you guys see this knockout? Yeah, that yeah. shit was, dude, I was actually, damn, dude. I thought Ode Osborne would have done a little better than that, but dude, Jafel just fucking was on that his ass, sick, dude. dude. Jafel? On his ass. Is that how you say it? Jafel. Jafel. Jafel Filao, brother. I don't know. He's from Brazil. Jafel Filao. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> the, H's like, the H's are tricky. Yeah. This dude. <laughs> you know, I think Ole Osborne, you know, he's pretty sick. I didn't think for him to get spanked like that. That yeah. shit was kind of crazy. Spanked, dude. Crowded him. Couldn't do shit. A little shocking, man. This is why I love MMA, though. You can't, you can't really count anybody out. Okay. Dude. Mike Davis. Yo, my fucking lesbian thing is not yeah. working, dog. No, no, I, 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 I thought Josiane was gonna was gonna win. Nah, but man. All she does is like stand in the pocket and throw overhands, though. Like she's true. Just, that's all she throws. So you know, maybe maybe Chelsea Chandler came in with the tight game. Why did plan. you do that with your neck? Because that's, that's what she does. That's what she trying to make fun of her because she has no neck. That's messed no. Up. She got trap. I wish I had traps like that. Okay, fine. It it, it would look. It would look good on me. I, I wish I had a haircut like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my little face. My face kind of weak right now. <laughs> hey, bro, I can't get a barber either. Yeah. That's why we're all hats, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haircuts be expensive lately. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm dying for a haircut. Uh, Nathan Levy, who's also a YouTuber. Hey, Mike Davis, know. dude. Mike da he's, a he's a YouTuber. What's his content? Nathan Levy. He does stuff with uh, MMA Shredder and all those guys. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Okay. He's doing that, like, you know that martial arts thing that you were talking about where they got all the YouTube martial artists and did those challenges? Uh, that's He's supposed to be in the second one. Oh, well, come on, man. Go focus on your fighting. <laughs> like, let's not let's not do that. Huh? Yeah. Uh, Mike Davis, though, huh? Mike Davis is legit, dude. That's a grappler. He's legit. It scares me. But he could kickbox, too. Yeah, did you hear his uh, post-fight interview where he was talking about how he had no friends? He used to get stuffed in lockers because yeah. he grew up in upstate New York and a oh, bunch damn. of just— He was, like, the only, like, black—is he black? He might be Puerto Rican. He's, who knows? He looks Dominican. Okay. Oh, we got all three. <laughs> we got all three, dude. Okay. He could be Hispano Blanco. Yeah. There we go. Uh, in last is the correct term. Afro Latino. Hispano Blanco. <laughs> Hispano Blanco, bro. Come on. Hispano Blanco. Afro Latino, hella racist. Hispano <laughs> Blanco. Can you read a fucking book for once, please? Yeah, yeah I will. Jesus Thank Christ. you. Mexicana de Negro. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
Mike Davis used to get bullied and pushed into lockers and shit because he grew up in upstate New York. He was kind of like the the odd person out. And then he said he found his first friends on Xbox playing games. Fucking loser. <laughs> He's like, Halo saved my life. I saw the headline. Uh, um, article <laughs> you make fun of Mike Davis of him saying like Halo saved my life and I was like I'm not gonna watch that interview yeah. and I scrolled up it was funny uh, but I like Mike Davis though. I'm a big he's fan saying this thing and I'm just like motherfucker they ain't real friends dog come on <laughs> like, but at the same time I kind of like how he just he, was cursing out kids on the internet I know <laughs> his, homies, he just his was friends like, are three year olds yeah yeah talking bad shit but the cool thing is like for somebody like him who couldn't find his community he found his community elsewhere and it saved yeah. his life man yeah. and now yeah. he'll fuck all these fools up let's go Mike Davis sick as fuck bro his story is great I'm a big fan of Mike Davis I, I just feel like he hasn't fought that much I've been following him since the Tiger Muay Thai. That shit was so impressive watching yeah, him. He won his that. style, his, his game is so slick, man. What is? So. Uh, did you guys see the post fight uh, interview with him, with Bisping? I'm just curious. How do you, how do you guys feel about when like Bisping clearly gives you guys a gives someone else he likes a platform? Goes like, please call someone out right now and set yourself up. He's on a four fight win streak. He's like, ah, I don't do that. How do you guys feel about you know not being mm-hmm. like Ian Gary, but how do you feel about like just use it, just call somebody out? Do you think they was like a wasted opportunity? I think that people, when they come into this fight game, they also have to understand this is also a performance sport, right? Mm. You, you like closed mouths don't get fed. So if you want to be competitive here, and everybody's still looking at him like he's dangerous, because not only is it a problem that he is dangerous and he's lower ranked, it that makes it harder for him to get fights anyways mm-hmm. with upper ranked people. So you have to call people out, even if it's not a part of your personality. Say a fucking name. Right. Yeah. Because there might be a fighter who bites that and says, you know what? Oh, you think you're the shit because you get to call me out. Let's get that fight going, because if Mike Davis is just here to stick around and be a gatekeeper, mm-hmm. then keep calling people out like that. But if you want to go somewhere, call names out. Let's help him out. He's too nice. Who who, who should he have called? Oh, out? shit. This fucking thing is stacked, though. Henato Moicano. There you go. Oh, he's going to fight Patty, fucking... apparently. Drew Dober. Dude, there him you. and Patty would be sick. Oh, Patty, the motherfucking pimblet. Patty might get his ass whooped, though. I think. Yeah. yeah, I think you could throw Mike Davis in with Drew Dober. That'd be a good one. Yeah, let him get in the fifteen. Top fifteen. Yeah, that's nice. Cause he hasn't had a top fifteen guy. Oh shit! Yeah, he Drew hasn't. Dober would be great, dude. Cause, cause you know he's durable. He hits hard. He could grapple a little bit. You know, he could wrestle a little bit. Psh, and he, Benoit Saint Denis, dude. That, give, give him, it's honestly, crazy you, to see BSDs at eleven. Once it's again, like, <laughs> once again, you could put. Mike Davis against anybody in the uh, top 10, 10, top 15. He'd be a problem for anybody. Yeah, bro. Little like, update. Uh, give the audience an update where you guys think, uh, what is the best division right now? Because people have been talking about it's probably 135. Welterweight. I think, Easy. wow. I over think welterweight right now? No, 135. But over welterweight. Welterweight's legit stacked, but I'm just mean, if we're talking, what's the metric? Are we talking skill for skill? Just like eye test. Vibe test. Have- Vibe test. test. What does that mean? <laughs> dude, you wouldn't know. You don't have force. Can you loser? Yeah. Fuck. All right. Okay, dude. Okay. I thought it was an MMA show. Not. We're not talking about personal stuff. Okay. You're not even a full person. <laughs> you're mutilated. You're, you're mutilated. You're you have no opinion. Okay. I'm gonna get a handicap placard out of this. You All right. Yeah. Wait, whatever, dude. Uh, so right now you see 135. <laughs> I I think it's 135. What do you think, David? I test. I go either 135. or I'm going lightweight. Those are the lightweight. ones. Lightweight. Yeah. In? Bro. Li- yeah. You can't oh, touch man. lightweight, bro. Yeah. Lightweight. I mean, look at look how stacked. That fucking weight class. What's your answer, Gilbert? Uh, I'm gonna just go pound for pound list. He's like straw weight, women's straw weight. He's gonna pander. Dude, I'm, gonna gonna fucking, I'm going yeah. Adam weight. It's yeah. not even there yet. It's gonna okay, be perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Maybe they would have a better, like a deeper division of Adam weight, though. They would. Just because they have more ladies who are like who weigh that much. You know? True. All right, let's uh, move over to the main card. We had a middleweight bout: Mirashart versus Nick's boy. Brian Barber. Bam, bam. Uh, I, I like watching him fight. What are your um, thoughts? I didn't really like this fight that much. Once again, let's have some grappling guys, huh? I don't know. I, mean, I just think uh, I thought Brian Barberino was a was a good grappler. At welterweight, he was. Yeah, he looked a little. I don't think 185 is a good way for him. Uh, it's definitely not a good well, way for him. Does not look cut. I at think. All. Look, if you're gonna go up and wait, I think you gotta. You gotta do it like how Max is doing it. Yeah, now. like I I think you really need to tent, spend time and invest in building muscle because you could weigh. Mm. 155, right? And be originally be a 145er, but like if it's not muscle, then you're just not going to do well. Here's a great example. I'm 215. Am I finding John Jones anytime soon? You could make 205, David. I could probably make 145 if I wanted to. Bro, yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got bird bones, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is all pure fat. Honestly, I think I'm an atom weight with my wrist. Yeah. Like, yeah. I should not be. I'm a yeah, dude, tiny dude. If I fought, I would be like a 115er, probably. Yeah. But that's really? like a great example. Brian Barbarina looked. 
I'm not talking about his fighting, but physically wise. And I know like when you look at somebody's physicality, it's not the be all end all, right? Of course. But he did look like a pile of garbage. Compared to Gerald <laughs> Mearshart, who looked lean at lean. 185. Yeah. yeah. Big at 185. And muscular. And just, you know, way hotter. Okay. <laughs> hey, say that one more time slower. <laughs> Wait, what? Say it one more time. Did I describe him too much? Only two adjectives. Okay. If I go three, and then it sounds Gerald like Gerald Mearshart looks like he only arrests black people. <laughs> that's... <laughs> That's He's the guy that goes like, let me turn this camera off. Exactly. Kind of guy. <laughs> he covered, oh, it died, bud. <laughs> the camera died. Oh, the, the AA batteries just died. My bad. He's the reason why you want to defund the police. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he looked, he, it's the, little, the stash, bro. It's the stash. It's the, stash. the stash is crazy. Yeah, you know, he does look like a fucking fire chief. Or <laughs> yeah, like a corrupt <laughs> cop, dude. <laughs> Brian Barbarina, dude, is not a chump. But, you know, he decided to move up into a weight class, which, by the way, 170 to 185, yeah. the size jump is huge. You. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. kind of crazy, dude. Mm -hmm. And you look at Brian Barbarina and you see his performances before. You didn't expect it to go like that. Gerald Mershart, first of all, his path to victory is always the same. His striking has never, ever really been that good. Or maybe it's not something he likes to utilize as well because you already know what his game plan is. Mm -hmm. Brian, ba Brian Barbarina, being the smaller guy, I expected him to be a mm -hmm. lot faster and to get in and out. Oh, no. And it not the case. And it didn't happen, which I was a little shocked about. But what I said, I told you, Jeremy Murshaw going to take him out. You know what I mean? He took his back. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing a Murshaw fight like that with Hamzat when they first fought. Like a little more ground. He, But he couldn't okay. get on there, bro. You want? That's why I said speed. He couldn't get on there. Yeah. And it's like, Brian Barber, I feel like... Jerry Marshart should have beat the dog shit out of Brian Barberina. Just with this, the physicality and the size and the experience. Like, obviously, Barberina is like really fucking good. But I just felt like Gerald Marshart could put it on him anytime. He's a but sleeper. that's just me sitting on the couch watching fights, yeah. though. Yeah. Jared Mershart's a sleeper, too, right? Because everybody always counts him out. But because of his, you know, his recent stint, I would say in the last six or seven fights, he won most of them. And he's just like, people are sleeping on him. They think like, oh, the path to victory is just to piece him up on the stand-up. But Gerald is tough. And if he gets on your back, he just might choke you out. Yeah. So there you go. Don't sleep on the fucking corrupt He's cop. He's going to choke you out, bud. All right, we got a performance of the night. David gets it right with his method. Thank Mace God, dude. Jason came through. She's good, bro. Bro. She, she's a female Corey Sanhagen to me. Ooh, she, she that's a move compliment she kinda, there. She kind of huh? reminds me of her. This Damn. is her second fight, by the way, and she beat her by the same submission. They just kind of give off the same vibe. That's that's what that actually is. Corey Sanhagen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But she, you know, at her post fight interview, <laughs> he's trying to challenge the culture. She, she identifies she, as Macy. Yeah. <laughs> nah, she she gave a tight little speech where I was like, okay, Macy, I kind of want to see where she goes because she's she she fired up. But that said. goes to what you were saying, right? That post fight interview was very, very important for mm, these like up and coming yeah. fighters. As, let's let's just take it from a viewer standpoint, right? Let's yeah. say somebody who doesn't know MMA at all. That right there is going to be the biggest key to why somebody tunes in tunes in and watches you again. Mm -hmm. I know it seems very WWE, right? But this still is a performance sport. But also too, it's like it's not like she had like a fucking shtick. A character. She just was like, yo, like I'm here to fight. Like I want to be fucking, fucking champ. Bro. Like I'm confident. I'm I'm better than everyone out here. Ooh, like let's got, let's see what's up. You know? I'm excited. Like that was kind of the vibe. So I was like, all right, uh, let's go. I'm excited. Yeah. Talk some shit. Talk your shit. Like Mike Davis, just do, if you don't want to call anybody out, do some of that. I'm yeah. like, well, whoever comes, comes. I'm like, no. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, you can't say it like that. You got to be yeah. like, I'll fucking fight anybody. I don't yeah. give a shit. You I'll know, fight you your mom. Something. I'll fight your children. Yeah. If your wife is pregnant. I'll knock two people out of Oh, damn. Yeah. And that is a good call out, bro. There we go. People would be like, <sighs> yeah. Oh, I wish I was a fighter, dude. I would be so fucking cool. <laughs> Did so. 0 oh, and 17, but great post fight interview. <laughs> <laughs> Has lost. Lost every <laughs> match. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, this fight. Heather Wade bout Christian yeah. Rodriguez versus Isaac Dolgarian. Uh, yes, I will show you something after. My boy Heinrich looks just like Isaac Dolgarian. A little bit. Right he now he does that photo for sure. <laughs> a little bit. But, so, and, you know, Dolgarian is, he has very good grappling. Hey, yeah. two rounds? Look like he Olympic wrestler. Dude, he, he did really good. And dare I say, uh, the split decision was maybe wrong. I th I thought Dolgarian won, but I thought he dude, won too. I think a lot of people thought Dolgarian won. That last round, I think in a lot of people's eyes, like the judges, I think there is that third round has the most impact on but, the judges. But bro, the the card said uh, for Isaac for first round ten eights across the board. 
Yeah. I, yeah, I don't understand that. I was so confused that, that by this. It makes no fucking sense at all. This is probably, a, it's not the biggest robbery ever, but this no. is a, it's a fucking robbery, man. It was a question mark. For a newer guy, too? It's like, oof. I just didn't think it was a split decision. I just thought it was going to be Isaacs, and it was just done, and then moved yeah. on. And I actually just kind of moved past the, the speech or whatever, and then I looked back, and I was like, Christian, what the fuck are you talking about? But whatever. What did he say? I don't know. I here, just looked at, put, the, I looked at the- uh, Let's put on uh, headphones really quick. You guys can hear this. Headphone, headphone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. We'll edit this, and we're good, John. Like I lost this fight, and as you can tell, I'm not super banged up. Um, round one, I scored a 10-8 across the scorecards. In round two, I had about four minutes and 10 seconds of control time. Really only ate one significant strikes, and somehow two of these judges gave him round two. Bullshit. And then round three, yeah, yeah, round two, I lost bro. that round. Wasn't very uh, optically pleasing. But it is what it is, man. Uh, one thing I did notice, though, is I had to use a lot of strength and energy to keep this guy down. About three minutes into round one, I'm completely dry, and this guy is shiny. Ooh. You know, um, I've grappled thousands of bodies, and I know when people are cheating. This guy was moved up. He had lotion on or something. <laughs> I don't know about this. And it is what it is, man. I can't really do anything about it. But Hey, brother. Hey. Shout out to Mark Coleman, by the way. I like, a sen I like any sentence or statement that it starts off with. I've grappled a thousand of guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like that shit. I've like, caught yeah. thousands of Pokemon. <laughs> I've <laughs> touched but many same, men. <laughs> hey, brother, brother, don't do not do this. Eh? Yeah. Don't say it is what is, but then you say excuse. No, bro, brother, <laughs> yeah. you 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 already have our respect. Brother, come on. Nick, you've grappled thousands of men naked. Yeah. Uh, would, does he have anything to that? Him, uh, Christian sweating? I'll say this. When we're doing, I usually train in the gi, right? So there's not, if you sweat a lot, it's like not, not big of a deal. You still have a lot of friction. You have a lot of grip. What was that with your hand? A lot of grip. Cool. But when you're doing no gi. Mm, interesting. And you know, when you're doing no gi and you are you can't grab any gi, I'm a slippery boy and I feel like people would accuse me of greasing if I were to compete like that. Mm. So I feel like sometimes guys are really fucking sweaty. You just don't know. And maybe that's a strategy. This guy can't, comes out. Uh, warming up a lot. Yeah, yeah just yeah. just wet. Because he knows he's going to grapple him. Maybe he did that. And look, man. <laughs> what do you think, David? Christian, you think? Rod Christian Rodriguez, Mexican. When I eat Mexican food, I get kind of greasy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I ain't going to lie, man. Shut your boy get a little up. shiny. I get it. It is what it is, dog. Comes that's, out of your pores? That's not racial, dog. A oh, little man. carne asada, a little buche comes out here. That's just pastor, here. brother. <laughs> that's just pastor. <laughs> pastor, a little beer, you know what I mean? Have that's you ever had a beer taco? Bro, has a little beer? red tint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is like, oh. it so red? Like, is that a bay leaf? And <laughs> lips are hey, really beer. <laughs> Honestly, media makes you sweat. Guaranteed. Yeah. The reason why I don't it? like that thing that Isaac said, you didn't need to have say, you didn't need to say I any know, of that. I know cheating because like everybody already thought you won, so who cares? Nah, I like I like when people are claiming someone else is cheating. I kind of like that. Okay, oh. I like that. If if you're gonna if you're gonna make an excuse, you gotta you gotta be like, hey, this guy I poked me to grab my glove. You know you what I would do people. if I was okay, MMA <laughs> fighter? If I got knocked out every fight, I would just call everybody a cheater. <laughs> Zero, yeah. zero, yeah. Bro. David Stoke, yeah. Cole's cheater. Again. Like, like, that's funny. That's kind of funny. I don't know. In the first round, <laughs> there's no grappling. I get knocked out, and I just go, dude, this guy was greased. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Once, this guy. What, flash knockout. Yeah. Greased. This guy was fucking greased, greased, bro. That's why he knocked me out. I'm so <laughs> sick of these cheaters. <laughs> yeah, Isaac, I don't think you needed to do that, brother. Uh, everyone thought you won. Didn't need to call cheating on that. But uh, Hey, up. what I say about Ovin St. Prue? Dog. What I say about Ovin St. Pru, man. Battle for the ages. Haiti versus Nigeria. Yeah. He did it for his country. It's yeah. going through a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we talked about last time. We're like, all of a sudden, when he started repping Haiti, and then I read the news, and I was like, oh, yep. that's why he repping Haiti. Um, so, you know, my bad. Uh, so that was a great fight. Did you guys think he won, though? Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. the thing about OSP is sometimes he'll look like shit one fight and just get, <laughs> and then sometimes he just pulls it off. Like, he, he has the most wins in light heavyweight division crazy and he has he's number two for um most finishes in the whole division can i say he's also 40 years old yeah, yeah. people forget man ovin st prue was a title contender dude he fought john jones he fought literally everybody yeah ovin st prue was the shit and don't ever count osp out and i wanted to win just so i could see this i want to see this i didn't so. know that he was going to be I, well not that i didn't know i don't know why he was a plus 300 underdog age yeah well, I mean, age. Kennedy also is a young dude. And he's fucking gigantic, yeah. so I could kind of see that. And then you he's know, like, like young, 
hot guy. Oh, and, like, oh yeah. he lost his last. I mean, one. hot and like the like a hot winter. Yeah. Drink. All right, I heard it. Is what I realized. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. Go fuck him. <laughs> Yeah, man. Cool. Yeah, just have sex with him. I thought we we're all friends. Now zoom up on Nick's face, now editor. There you go. Yeah, I'm half a man. Don't you guys remember? <laughs> yeah, he's not even <laughs> not a real a person. Real... <laughs> not even a real guy. I'm not even really here. Oh, we gotta talk about this though. Brian all Battle, right. welterweight Brian Battle beating Ang Lusa, and then the fight gets stopped because homie can't see. Thoughts, David? Go. Man, you want to talk about Brian Battle, dude? Did he look fucking good? He's sick, it. dude. What Blonde... did he do in this time? Blonde he's hair. Sick. Who? Wait, he's kind of always been like, okay, what's up with Brian Battle? Why is he getting better? It's the blonde hair, yo. It's something, dude. And not only is he better, his mouthpiece, dude. <laughs> that was nice. That was sick. He's just talking shit. I think he he's just being genuine, and I think that's really dope. He's so confident. He's very, uh, I just love the fact where he was like, you were looking for a way out. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, I when he talks, I get like, I start gripping the fucking seat. I'm like, Dude, this guy's intense, but he's fun to watch, man. His pace is crazy. Yeah, I mean, Brian Battle, too, young guy, still under thirty, and you got a chip. How, how many times sure. has he lost? Maybe once. Yeah, only once. Six yeah. to one. I yeah, think. and he's just he has, was it a finish? Was it like a it might have been a decision. Decision, right? We have the internet. Let's try. Yeah, this. Let's take a look at this right here, real quick. Let's and he has Dragon Ball Z tatted on his fucking there back, which is kind of cool. Oh, he, he lost look? to that fucking, uh, that, say that name. Which one? Yo. Oh, you don't know uh, Farek Nekskinurov? <laughs> <laughs> that guy's a scary guy. Yeah, it's Farek Dadanov. <laughs> yeah, Farek Dadanov, man. Farek Dadanov. Yeah, I mean, look, Brian Battle is one of those young guys that is just adding new wrinkles to his game. His striking was on point. And hey, you want to talk about keeping the dude away from you because he knows Angelusa going to Angelusa these fists all over him. You know what I mean? <laughs> he going to let Angelusa, right? <laughs> and he wouldn't let him. Uh. What, but, is your, um, what is your guys' assessment of the eye poke and how no, Angelusa, bad. like, Handled it though. Do you think he should have waited longer? Do you think he was it was a cop out? Do you think he was really hurt? I will always say this: anytime you get poked in the fucking eye, it's the scariest thing ever, because it hurts so bad. I agree. And even like a small little eye poke, you literally feel like you're gonna die for some reason. I mean, that was a whole ass thumb in there. Yeah, that that's, shit was, yeah, it was that's a bad eye poke. It was a really really bad but eye poke. Yeah. Whether he couldn't he really couldn't finish or not, I think Brian Battle did the right move of just talking shit the whole time. Good. I mean, fuck you. Make a I, moment out of it. He yeah. he was genuine most guys aren't genuinely upset when the fight's over and it's out of their hands. Yeah. Like most guys don't react like that. But I think Brian Battle, he's like he's mentally get a clip. Get a clip out of this. He, he he's on another level. Like he he's a competitor, bro. He really wanted to fight, and he wanted to show how good he was. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what? Some so guys are not doing that. You know what's so fun? Like about this thing when when Brian Battle was in his face and he was calling him a bitch. Yeah. And then <laughs> that's kind of was like, I'll kill you. Yeah. I'll kill you. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that that caught me off yeah. guard. I, like, I kill you was kind of scary. I was no, like, it was tight. Kill. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. I thought the best move for Angelusa if he was if I was him, I would have turned the other way and yelled at somebody else because he's blind. So he's just like, <laughs> I'll be here. I'm right here. Oh. <laughs> see, I can't see. I can't see. I was like, because like, if you can't see, how'd you know he was there, dude? You should have faced the other way. Oh, <gasps> when you hear I, I kill you with that accent, it's not a level. It's, yeah. a little it's scary. another level, dude. They're gonna run that and shit back. He was jumping over the security guards, and I was like, oh, dude, he's mad. Yep, he's real mad. But Brian Battle played that whole thing perfect. Beautiful. Amen. Um, also, someone that probably agreed with him uh, is Bisbale. Play this clip. I don't think there's anything more to say. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Battle. Well, Brian's piss want, uh, for the audio listeners. Bisbing walks Bisping away. Not a lot more I can <laughs> so Bisbing makes it look like he exits for the camera. Then he comes Brian back in. Who was Dom winning that fight? Yeah, he was winning. <laughs> Saying, where did all that energy come to finish? The yeah, he's like, what is this fucking bullshit? Hey, come on, okay, man. Okay, well, we're going to take a listen. <laughs> Look at Brian Bell cracking sick, the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. Yeah, because you know he was siding with Brian. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. Yo, Bisbee be getting caught a lot in these cameras. These guys are fucking with him at the UFC. He's, but he, he's, I yeah, he, I, I would like to see more Bisping uh, moments like that. That's fucking gay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I want a compilation. <laughs> All right, let's get to the main event. Oh, Ty Tuivasa, our boy, was looking good, but then Marcin Tybura took him down, and that was the end of it. <laughs> hey, do you guys remember that movie, fucking uh, The Fifth Element? Yeah. Yes. Remember the bad guy with the hair slicked back? Yeah. Doesn't he look, doesn't Marcin Tybura look <laughs> like that fool? Nope. <laughs> Mar I know ah, Marcin damn. won, but could you just please just shave your head? <laughs> just let it go, man. He, should go, he should go straight bald. Straight up, or go to Turkey and get it fixed, bro. Dude, if, you, if you're a big, buff, fucking heavyweight... White guy, 
You can go bald head with a beard. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. You know how hard that dude, he looks tough. Dude, I mean Ty was binking the fuck out of him. But you know, this MMA, brother, it's this MMA. Mm. And I just it's hard to watch somebody like Ty who was on such a crazy trajectory. Streak, yeah. man. Right? And look, I know I'd be making jokes about Marcin Tybura, but he's no bitch, right? And I, I thought that he would be prepared for Tybura to actually take it to the ground because Tybura is actually pretty well-rounded. Mm -hmm. So I, I actually was kind of shocked that, you know, after how many fights Tui Vasa has been in, yeah. he still has no answer for, you know, that level of yeah. grappling. Well, look, look at these matchmakers, right? He's he gave, fighting mostly strikers. He basically fought all of Europe. Yeah. UFC is definitely, yeah. <laughs> UFC is giving him striker uh, fights, right? Because that's his fourth loss in a row, man. Yeah, that's, that's tough. tough. That's so tough. After this, look, this run was fucking nuts, yeah. by the way. Struve, boom. But I think it always goes back to what you're saying, David. Like the era of the big just puncher in the heavyweight division. Like, no bueno. Yeah, the sport's evolving, man, and all these guys just have really deep bags, and a lot of these guys are coming from wrestling, you know, these yeah. big, giant, heavyweight guys. It's like, man, you got to be able to start stuffing takedowns. So what do we do with Ty? Because, like, we love him, fan favorite. But Pull up the rankings real quick. Make him fight MVP. They should do cross cross weight division fights. That would be fantastic. <laughs> MVP type Because <laughs> that's the ultimate, dude. It's like who's gonna who's gonna win this cat and mouse game? <sighs> Tied to Avasa, Rosenstruck just won. I guess you can find him. Yeah, be a great Rosenstruck. Fighter. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. Don't give him Delima, please. You know, be kind of fun, Stepe. Stepe fucking. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Just, if I'm if I'm oh. just having fun, I said I'm having fun. Okay, this is fantasy, brother. Stepe would wrestle the fucking shit out of him, dude. Yeah. He's he's not even a wrestler. He's a fireman. You he's a fireman. Thank you. Next fight. Let's get some fight news. Uh, we got John Jones meeting Tom Aspinall for the first time. This was you guys think it was offered? Let's it, see. You know what it was? It's the fucking lion meeting the kitten. Do you feel like Ooh. Tom Aspinall kind of like wasn't even phased kind of? Let's, what, feel what, like? let's see. <laughs> he lowered John's head. Serial killer. Damn, he put Damn. a hand on his shoulder. He's like, oh, my bad, brother. Ooh, look can at I, John's face. Look can, at I, can I tell y'all something Ooh, right now? Oh, shit. If y'all never grew up with black people, that motherfucker just checked his white ass. Yeah, he wants to beat his fucking ass. He's like, he went up to him, he was like, nah, 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 nah we don't do that. Get your hand off my shoulder. Like, have you ever, like, this is like some hood shit, but like... Black, Mexican, Asian dudes all in the hood. If they're smiling at you, they don't fuck your ass up, dog. That's the scary part when they're smiling. When he was smiling, I'm like, uh-oh. Like, immediately I started sweating. I'm like, that's not a I'm happy to see you smile. It's like, hey, we're face to face. What's up? Mm. That's one of them types of smiles. You know what I'm saying? You ask anybody what that smile means. That's like, okay, I'm going to fuck you up. He didn't read that. He puts his hands on his shoulder. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, that's not what this meeting is. Because you, know you know what the white guy version is? is he puts his hand on his shoulder. It's like, what's up, bud? Exactly. You know, bud. That's the white guy version, yeah. right? And, so, and then they were the white, yeah, they were battling out for dominance. Who yeah. won? I think John Jones won that. Race not, battle. Who yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, man. That's reparations right there, my friend. <laughs> All I know right there. <laughs> what? Gets the you ain't lied. <laughs> yeah, that's reparations right there, my boy. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> everybody in the comments, like, when I read that, they're like, look how John is, has already lost the mental game. What? They're like, they're like, look how petty he is. That's not petty, dude. No, bro. The fucking mental fight starts now. He's checking him. Bro. I think, be, yeah, I think being petty helps the mental fight. Yeah. I think it does help a little bit. I think, I think Tom Aspinall was actually a little thrown off. It's like, I'm trying to be friendly. John yeah. Jones ain't there to be friendly. This guy over here heckling like fucking nobody comedians. You yeah. think he's like sane? Dare I yeah. say, that's a 10-8 round for John. 100%. I Ooh. think Tom Aspinall and John Jones should go out drinking. That'd be real fun. Ooh, that makes me nervous. Just, just, have them, just have a night you, on the You town. see Tom and John at a small comedy club heckling people? <laughs> what the fuck? That's so weird. That's the scariest thing for a stand-up ever. Too heavyweight. But oh, they're so shit-faced. John Jones is shit-faced. That'd be fun. Oh, did you guys actually see this? Uh, what happened to Jack Madalena's arm? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking bro Gilbert broke. Burns broke, broke his it. fucking Forearm. arm. And then J JDM is sick because he goes like, you know, adrenaline's a hell of a drug. <laughs> That's all he said. He's like, I don't even feel that thing. That's fucking, it was, He's a maniac. It was snapped in half. It yeah. wasn't a hairline no. fracture. It was bad. Bad. Bro. And he was still throwing. Crazy. Feel bad for him. You got the arm and your nose is fucked up. Gilbert did everything right. I'm telling you, dude, you see a guy with a nose like that. That's he it, got man. nothing to lose. Picasso face. <laughs> <laughs> what about when you feel you see a guy with a nose like this? 
Ian Machado, Gary reacts to Colby Covington's challenge. I know David has some stuff to say about this. Battle of the Cringe. Colby did a video talking about his wife and stuff, and everyone's like, ugh, Colby sucks. And then Ian decided to respond. I'm not going to even play it. Can I say this right now? Go ahead. Do your take on this. (laughs) Uh, After I saw this video, I unfollowed him. (laughs) <laughs> that's how corny this shit was I couldn't get through it I, I was I like finish it I yeah. because I already disliked the fact that he disabled all the comments yeah. and I know but it's for his mental health but you can't be the person that's trying to verbally abuse people <laughs> online and then take your comments <laughs> off it doesn't work that way hey, this is coming from a guy who almost exclusively verbally abuses the fucking world and he leaves his comments on but exactly <laughs> he's out here he's ready for all the fucking smoke dude is that everybody comes and he back. takes it he goes yeah yeah, I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, there's some comments that fucking make me laugh. Other ones, when they are they hurt my feelings, I just block them. <laughs> yeah. I'll block Yeah, you just got to block them individually. That's yeah. a good move, right? Come on, man. Yeah. Be like a regular sensitive person. <laughs> this is weird. Be a regular his, sensitive his, yeah. his cadence and his face the entire time during this really bothered me. Oh, yeah, it made me mad a little bit. I'm going to do this to you. I'm like, bro, chill. Yeah. Just chill. <laughs> yeah. Just relax, man. We're going to do until we quit. Like, shut the fuck up. He could have just left it at Colby doing his video, and that's it. And every too, oh, For some reason, when Conor McGregor talks, I don't get like that. No. no. But when Ian Gary talks, I get, I go, mm. And it reminds me of that Shane Gillis bit where he goes like, he's like, dude, these someone's got to check these white European dudes because they're, they're too <laughs> fucking cool. They don't hang around no black dudes. Like, what's going on? And I think Ian Gary is like, oh, that's a good example maybe because he's, he's yeah. too cool for school. A little bit, for but, sure. And he has too many forehead wrinkles for that age, man. But Manny's fucking good. And if <laughs> Shots they do fired fight, over here. If, yeah. if they do fight, though, I feel like Ian Gary going to fucking, he's going to sleep Colby, bro. I've never, I never thought that there would be a fighter that would get me to like Colby Covington. Yeah. Which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. How did you make Colby Covington into a hero when Colby Covington is trying to not be a hero? Because America, brother. Because <laughs> America. What, yeah. The land of the eagles. Let's go. <laughs> but look, the land of the eagles. Isn't that what our country's hey, called? Hey, yeah, boy. To add more cringe and have David unfollow him more. Have you seen this? Look no. Look what I'm selling. Look what I just launched. You really want to piss off Kofi Covington? You make MMA great again and you retire. You have no friends. <laughs> you are a loser. You have no friends. Nobody <laughs> likes you. When you wake up, there's only a puddle of tears because you realize that you're a fucking dweeb, dude. I want to like Ian Gary, man. I think he's an amazing fighter, dude. I, I, I want to like him as a personality, but sometimes I just like... Can I say this, though? Anytime it's news, I, I don't really want to watch it. Or I love his it. striking, though. His striking is so good. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. He actually, he would benefit from the fucking Mike Davis approach, maybe. Yeah, a little oh. bit, huh? But this is when it is important to be like, kind of be yourself. Because I feel like when he talks, maybe he's just not being himself. Or yeah. What if that is himself? Maybe, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. But at the end of the day, it's like... His striking and his fighting style is so is so pretty to watch. Well, not to all fans though. Is it just because his actions, everyone just looks down on him because of the, the prob- all the stuff with his wife and all that? I, I thought about people this, are mean to him. The problem with Ian Gary <laughs> is this: is that <laughs> compared to every other fighter that does what he does, he is trying to be the heel and the hero. Yeah, you yeah. have to pick, pick one. one. Yeah. You can't be both. You can't have people pity you, and you can't be the asshole. That's true. Huh? Which one is it? Pick be it. the heel or the hero. You're doing both, so now everybody hates you. If you were his manager, what, where would you steer him? And you're also Irish. Go ahead. Huh? Divorce <laughs> your wife. <laughs> okay, That's first it. thing. Yeah. That's... Divorce your wife. Stop talking. And then... Divorce your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, manager. I already did. I don't fucking care. <laughs> Just divorce her. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm, I'm drunk, by the way, at a pub. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not even there. The fuck are you calling me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You're good. my manager, dude. Uh-huh. That'll fucking <laughs> It's son Patrick's dad. I'll give a fuck. Bro, it's morphing to a different <laughs> oh, accent. Bro, oh, that was that. good. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I'm a drunk Irish guy. He probably, he probably is a scouser fucking manager. There you oh, go, dude. Scouser. Here's what Hamza Chamaya said. This gay brother can't make this shit great. How's this gonna make MMA great? Damn. Uh, they don't uh, got a uh, spell check in fucking Dagestan? 
Jesus Christ, ha, this is going to make him MMA great. Ha. <laughs> Hobbs out just said, y'all gay. That's funny. That's funny. funny. That's super cool, dude. <laughs> That's super cool, dude. <laughs> that right there. Hey, put that on a hat, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. gay. Yeah. <laughs> it just says, he's <laughs> gay. <laughs> Yo, I'd buy that. Oh, shit. Yes. Bro, if it's a face of him with his lip and he's like, <laughs> <It's> gay. <laughs> You're like, dude, this guy is hard. <laughs> um, Any oh, Russian cat and goes, he's gay, brother. Dude, you gotta love it. That's fucking hilarious. I mean, I think that sentiment, though, probably a lot of fighters feel this way. That just simple sentiment. Just gay. He's like, I think Ian Gary's so funny. He goes, I'm gonna do the world a favor and get rid of this guy. It's like, I think they want it the other way around, dude. So it just kind of doesn't work. Yeah. Because at least Colby's is like over the top and there's a chance that he's just doing a character, mm -hmm. right? It's most likely what it is. There's a chance. I mean, this is probably, obviously, is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he chose the heel, yeah, right, yeah. And, he and he stuck to it, yeah. and he's sticking to it, no matter how corny it is or mm -hmm. whatever. But he has people who really fucking love him, mm -hmm. and there's some people who really fucking hate him, but can't help but watch him. Yeah, Ian Gary is doing something where nobody wants to watch him anymore. How do you do that? And we want to. That's the crazy. We want to watch him. We can't. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. I don't unfollow people. But either way, him posting is probably just good in general. Yeah, good yeah. For, his, for for people to hate him. <laughs> He's gay. Because people are going to watch him fight, though. Uh, I'm not going to play this, but I'll give you guys a little uh, little synopsis of it. Oh, um, he looks sad. Yeah, so Strickland, a couple days ago, uh, actually posted something really, like a more heartfelt message to his fans saying, like, hey, guys, I have all the money in the world. I'm super famous. I'm doing all this. Oh, no. But I wake up. And I like, he's like, I woke up this morning, told my girlfriend, um, I think I'm a danger to people when I'm out in the world. And he's been feeling really depressed lately. So but his sentiment is like, <laughs> I have everything. <laughs> Whoa. Why'd you laugh? Because he just realized that now? <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you fucking mean? Sometimes it takes a little bit. You know what I mean? Maybe like, he's never watched the videos and he finally watched them. He goes, who's that guy? But it's also the volume of shit that comes up recently, he's, too. He's been even questioning like all the stuff I'm posting. I'm not in a good headspace. I'm Dude, starting to realize. Anything he posts, anything, it becomes news. It becomes a headline. So this, it's a, what a mind fuck it is for Sean Strickland to see this and to like... Yeah, I'm sure he reads comments eventually. He, he can't like avoid it, right? And then and his dude is probably just being like, "What the fuck is wrong? How the wrong? fuck is Pla <laughs> Mike, Mike Perry giving you advice?" That's but what I was it, like, but it, that's good advice though, isn't yeah. it? That's yeah. really good advice. But Mike then, Perry asked if he should stop sparring so much and if he took a break. And then Johnny Walker. And then Johnny Walker is worse. <laughs> hey, you're going through depression. Here, take some. Kind of fire though, dude. Hey, Johnny Walker, <laughs> didn't you just say you stopped doing drugs because it was making you lose? Not mushrooms, brother. <laughs> okay, <laughs> keep scrolling. My bad. I don't know who this other guy is, but buried before death. To the Lord, brother, or Allah? Maybe some Allah. Yeah. Maybe God is good. Maybe God. Yeah, Jesus might be good, brother. <laughs> At least you're not gay. Poppy Geo said that. You know who that is? Who's, who's that? that? That's the guy who does the Alex Pereira imitations. Oh, he oh he's so good. He says, "At least you're not gay." <laughs> oh, there it is, dude. Wow. By the way, shout out to this guy. He's really good at doing this. Very yeah, good act. Very good uh, physical actor. He, he be sparring too. I mean, he definitely it's so trains. good. There's no way he doesn't train yeah. because look at his form. He was sparring with uh, Pereira, I think. Oh, is this the guy that Pereira was piecing up? Yeah. Oh, no. That's a little Tay, oh, no? okay. <laughs> that's a little, little Tay, tay no? Little, little tay. tay. Who the fuck is little Tay? But yeah, guys, Sean Strickland <laughs> not doing well. He, I think he's finally admitting it. Um, it I'm sucks. Not, I'm not laughing at his mental health thing. I just thought it was kind of weird. I thought he knew. Yeah. Right? Because that you was his think, whole yeah. branding. Yeah. It's like, you don't want to come up and step up to me. I'll fuck you. I thought he knew. Because yeah. he's verbally said he knows he's this type of person. So I'm a little shocked right now. I was like, wait, is this a joke? Mm. But that's very um, scary, actually. I think his posts just create a lot of negativity towards him. You know, just like... Oh, like the, yeah, calling out people, all that stuff. Everybody can say that they don't care about comments. Everybody does just a little bit. You can and only take so much, I think. Exactly. Especially if it's all negative all the time. Like, people are just... And the way... And the amount of times that he's been put out, into, like you said, everything he touches goes viral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he'll make one comment and it becomes Non-stop. This whole, yeah. Sean Strickland uh, on Twitter again, you know, like that's a fucking story. Yeah, uh, man. And he's obviously been through a lot. So there's probably a lot of unpacking that he has to do, whether it's with friends, family, or a therapist. But at the end of the day, man, if he's not mentally sound and he knows that he's a dangerous person, you got to chill off from like getting hit in the head and doing violent things because that just puts you into a different space. Bro. Everybody knows too. Like even when you spar like friendly, right? The moment somebody clips you hard, something yeah. clicks in your head. A different. change. Yeah. It's a different 
type of beast. Like everybody's friendly and fine, and somebody hits you, you see red, and then it's over. Yeah. And you do it so frequently. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like I don't know, like part, that's part of the reason why. Well, that's one of the main reasons why I stopped fighting was just like the 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 feeling you get post sparring sometimes, like just your head buzzing. Mm -hmm. It's just not, a, it's hard to do regular stuff. <laughs> he does yeah. it all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And he's sparring with the best guys in the world, so your margin of error is even smaller. But, you know, yeah, when it is why he's so good, though, which yeah. is the other, it's the other side of it. If Mike Perry's giving you mental health advice, <laughs> that's probably a time for you to reset and change. Take a break. But you Mike know? Perry looks like he's a bare knuckle boxing guy. So if anyone knows yeah trauma and damage he know, knows how to lower and mitigate that it's fucking that guy yeah just weight train and chill and get away from the violence a little bit and then activate it when you have to yeah bro all right next piece of news uh we were talking about rodriguez and uh, dulgarian <laughs> talking about cheating but cheeto came out and blamed that uh or called claimed that sean had grease in his hair when they fought we were talking a little bit before the podcast but uh bad move good move or a cheap <sighs> move i mean look you can't say that when you got pieced up so bad, especially because, look, if we're talking about his game plan was to get in close to him and get in tight, which when you look back at the fight, there was moments when he closed that distance and he tried to grab him. But it's just like, dude, did you really even have the opportunity to really feel that part out? Right. I mean, he kind of was just knocking his fucking teeth out. It's I, I, I don't like this, too, because of in the fashion in which he lost. Right. And if you say these things and then you go, I'm not making excuses, it's already done. Mm. You've already set up this notion that you're making excuses. It's too late. And look, for those of you out there who have never had cornrows done, I have. Just <laughs> I haven't. But not yet. Um, he got so nervous with that show. So I, I know, haven't. I haven't. I know what he's I'm talking about, to, about, right? So, you know, obviously there's like grease, dax, or whatever that you mm -hmm. use to lay down these hairs to make it look nice and clean. Many people have had uh, cornrows in the UFC before. Now, I don't know if they're doing regulations on it, depending on what they're using as, as the medium for it. But I do understand that people who have not as coarse hair, when they put down their cornrows, mm -hmm. because the, just the hair is a lot more fine in general, it does feel a lot more slick, mm. right? So I, I don't know. I don't think that's really the case here. And I don't think it would have mattered in this fight. My parents own a black beauty supply store. That's why I know this. No, honestly, okay, yeah. that, that was probably the best insight we could have got for context as yeah, far as yeah. like, oh, yeah. that. But so like, like for it doesn't matter, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> like what David said, it's like it doesn't matter. Bro. I, th I think honestly, too, people just end up start ch talking and chatting shit when they go on Era Hawani show. Bro, always and then and then they just clip it and they make it this whole fucking thing. But as Cheeto was saying, but he's literally tweeting. Who the <laughs> <laughs> So it's like, oh, dude, yeah. you're fucking, <laughs> you're doubling down. Yeah, you're doubling down. So, well, did you see on the page that posted it, uh, Sean, uh, Sean's hairstylist is like, I fucking just did his hair like normal shit. Yeah, yeah. she actually commented. isn't isn't his wife Sean O'Malley's wife? Is yeah. It? Oh, is it his wife? Hair, yeah. Oh, I thought no, it was, it was another girl. Oh, yeah. He got a team. It was it was a stylist that did it. Damn. And uh -oh. she used, you know, she said I used a regular amount of. It wasn't anything crazy. But yeah, if like for example, when you see like cornrows, I don't know if you'll ever have this opportunity, but if a girl even French braids, like a white girl French braids where she cornrows her hair, you feel it, it feels like really slick and smooth. It's just because the hair's a lot finer in the way it's laid down. Yeah. But maybe that's what he felt, right? And also too, his uh his rows, I think they were a little tighter and a lot thinner. So it, it could be more slick. This fucking yeah. expert over here, dude. Yeah. Honestly, the times I've learned about black hair. And stylist in that world is from a Korean person. Yeah. Three Koreans have told me so much about this. Hey man, I've been working. I worked at that store for damn near twenty five years. Yeah. Sounds beauty surprise. Yeah, surprise. Uh, be surprise, surpri man. So be surprise. Yeah, if you white, get out of my store. <laughs> <laughs> if you white. <laughs> yeah, if you, it's a black people. Okay, number one. Uh, but guess who's coming into the store out of retirement? <laughs> Jose Aldo <laughs> coming out of retirement to fight at UFC three hundred one because UFC <laughs> lost her. Fight with Jamal Hill and Alex Pereira at UFC 300, so they got to bring some star power here. How do you guys feel about Jose? Oh, was Aldo? that the original plan? Oh, honestly, that was supposed to be 301. Oh, uh, uh, so, so uh, this article here, but no, <laughs> Islam, Islam uh, confirmed that he was asked to fight Leon Edwards at 300, and that didn't come through because mm. of Ramadan. Uh, Obviously, they pulled, I think, their headliner for the Brazil card, Alex Pereira. Over, the I can't believe they were gonna do Islam and and Leon, brother. But do they? I don't. Are they just so worried about like not being able to sell Leon's pay per views or something? Yeah. What is that? I don't. I don't get that shit. 
That doesn't even make any sense. Yeah. Well, you know, I guess if they're trying to make the biggest fight of the year, I don't yeah. know. I mean, people are uh, complaining about 301. It was another article. Jose's like only, what, 35? He's not even that old. He didn't even, and his, like, yeah. Was that really a retirement? Uh, Jose did breaks. retire from MMA, but. He was just frustrated. He got, he retired because he was frustrated. He was mad. Yeah. He, he was got, pissed. he got asked out on like two very major decisions in his career, yeah. towards the latter part of his career, that he clearly fucking won. He well, he knew, good still. He knew he was like, if I don't win this fight against Marab, I'm not gonna get a title shot. Yeah, yeah. Marab, you lost that fight. You know that shit too. Yeah, it Marab was, fucking. That was Marab's that. worst performance in the UFC. So, do you guys feel okay with him coming back? Like, do you think this is like he should Look, sit out or what? I don't know. John, Jonathan Martinez is really good, bro. He's on he's a really dangerous. crazy streak. He's so good. Um. <sighs> Peter what does yeah, say? it does it it does it does make me nervous. What does Habib say? He said, "Brother, it's over, brother. You don't have two primes. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. You only have one prime, brother. You don't come back. You're not the same person. Only one prime. After that, downhill, kill Bro, yourself." Habib, <laughs> I don't think he said that last Hab- part, but Habib don't quote should me. be the face of fucking prime for Logan. Paul. Honestly, That's a sick quote. Like, There's only one, the one prime. prime. Yeah. Dang. And then he comes up, eagle. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. With that sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I'm not sure that's how an eagle sounds. I but. think it is, bro. Oh, okay, brother. I, 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 I watch a lot of like a Nat Geo. <laughs> yeah, but uh Jose Aldo, obviously he left. He still looked fantastic. I a hundred percent believe he won that Marab fight and he got cheated out on the uh mm-hmm. what's that other fight with the bald dude that looks like the one punch man anime character? Uh Marlon. 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 Marlon, <laughs> almost Marais. said Marab. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Marlon. Yeah. He Marais. beat Marlon Marais. Not a single person thought that Marlon won. Even Marlon was shocked. Yeah, right. So he got cheated out on two major fights. And so in his age, not even his, he was still pretty young. But he's like, what's the point of this shit? Mm-hmm. Like, if I have to keep on going to these decisions and I'm clearly winning and they're not giving it to me, I'm not wasting my fucking time here. I've done enough at the sport. But I'm pretty sure they came up to him and was like, hey, we got a fat bag for you. Yeah. Mm. We got a fat bag. That's sick. And it's in Brazil, too. Yep. So it's like, I think it's in Rio, right? Yeah. 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 So what's fucking Jose Zotto? What's his nickname? King of Rio. Yep. That's his whole thing. So, Yeah, but why are they giving Jonathan Martinez to him? Martinez beat our boy Giannis. Like, yeah. He's on a tear right now. He's so but you want to see something, though? Guess what Jonathan Martinez's biggest fucking weapon is? Brazilians. Oh, what? <laughs> his his leg kick. Yeah. Yeah. Guess what fucking Jose Aldo does the best out of any MMA fighter in the history of the UFC? Yeah. Check Damn. leg kicks. His leg kick checks are fucking amazing. So unless Jonathan Martinez has a different game plan outside of leg kicks, he's going to have a little bit of trouble finding him because Jose Aldo, too, his hands have been fucking immaculate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So And he's a dog, bro. A fucking dog. Jose too. There's no quitting him. Yeah, and he's been active, too. So we'll see. I feel like it's a better matchup for him than Yanez. You know, like Yanez, because he's such a boxing-heavy guy, I was like, man, I, I'm worried about that fight. But Jose Aldo, dude. He's he's got the skills. He's for back. Him. I I re- I wish Jose Aldo comes back and knocks him out with a not because I hate um what's his name yeah Jonathan Martinez yeah I fucking love him he's yeah. great but I just want to see that fucking hook to the body again <laughs> oh, wow. the body ah. <laughs> I just miss it so much I think you can never count out Jose mm-hmm. you can't count him out oh shit ruptured ACL so dude he after, blew out his whole fucking knee uh here's his uh tweet so MRI confirm ACL rupture meniscus tear and groin injury. Surgery is scheduled for tomorrow. Nothing will break me. I'm determined to come back stronger than ever in no time. Did somebody put a piece of dynamite in his leg? What happened? <laughs> what, what everything oh, fucking sucks. Explode. He gets a big win against Song Yong Dong, and then, like, boom, I'm out for a year, probably. Year. Or longer. Yeah, probably a year. These Russian people uh, definitely maybe overtrain because who else? What, it happened to what's his face, too, when he tore his fucking leg out when he kicked. Um, oh, Viziev, and they're but they're from the same camp. Yep. They're both Tiger Muay Thai. They're they're boys. So maybe it's those that camp, huh? Might be. They might be working super hard. That's kind of uncanny. Oh my god. Oh, dude, after such a big fight like that, and now he has to go. It's into a fucking his... bummer. Because Peter Yan looks so good in that fight, and he did that. How early was that when he when he ruptured it? He it probably he probably came into the fight like that. Oh my god. Which is even crazier. <laughs> he's so tiny too. Man, he's just a mean little guy. The, but uh, uh, we talked about this a little bit last week, but it looks like it's probably gonna happen. Islam Makachev eyes legend Dustin Poirier for June, even if Dustin deserved the title fight. I don't know, bro. Because there's no one else left. So you're basically if it, he, there isn't. If he doesn't fight uh, Dustin, he's probably gonna be shelved to the end of the year. I think everybody's wrapped up in fights for the rest every of single hey, person. Pull up the fight. rankings on 155, bro. Everyone's fighting. Check this. 
Oh shit! So that's why they were trying to do Leon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody's uh, just wrapped up. No. Yeah. Every yeah. single person is fighting on this card. See, I'm telling you, man, that fucking Justin Gaethje Max Holloway fight it fucked fucks up, up it both fucked up divisions. Up that's why I don't like this shit. We it's talked a about useless it. fight. It fucks up all the. Even fights. Islam said it. he's like it's a useless fight. Yeah. Useless he's like I should be fighting Justin Gaethje. <laughs> yeah. That's well, uh, I don't know. So now the get... old, okay, the best outcome out of the Justin Gaethje Max Holloway fight. No offense. To Justin Gaethje. Max wins. It's probably Max winning. And him looking crazy good at one. A lot more UFC options if Max wins. Right? I don't know. So we're going to get Dustin. Third shot against Islam. Pretty bad matchup, I would say. Bro, he's guillotining Islam. Yo, put money on that. No, I won't. If you do, I'll put money on that. (laughs) I'm going Islam all day, unfortunately. If uh, he guillotines Islam? Oh, my God. That'd be amazing. That'd be the sickest storybook ending of all time. I mean, he almost got Habib in it really bad. Really fucking bad. But the thing is, oh, well, he doesn't really, sh- he does a lot of upper body trips, so he never really puts himself like. Oh, yeah, the way he attacks. Like he, he don't shoot double legs as much as uh, Habib does. So I wonder if that option is going to be there. Or Dustin, D- Dustin could put his paws on him. True. He could put his paws on him, but Islam looked really sharp and really refined against Charles Oliveira. Southpaw versus Southpaw. Oh. Mm. Wait, is, is Charles wasn't a southpaw? Right? No, 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 I'm saying Islam yeah, is Dustin. Yeah, Dustin, but is, was Charles a southpaw? You know, he's orthodox. No, no, he's orthodox. <sighs> yeah, southpaw versus southpaw. I wonder how that's going to play out. But, you know, like, Islam is going to come prepared, man. Like, he's he's prime time right now. Yeah, like, he's, and he's I, looking untouchable. Hungry for a fight, too? Yeah. And you know freaking uh, Habib's going to give him a couple of advice here and there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Islam with Habib in his training camp is a different beast, man. It's just different. You just have somebody with better eyes, and he's just, I think Habib is a really dedicated coach. Oh, bro. Mm-hmm. Not me, brother, all you, brother. He he left the ring, he didn't even show up to the fight. Yeah. He's like, anytime I'm there, it's always Habib and mm-hmm. Islam. But he don't even show up to his cousin's fights, he don't show up to this guy's fights. He, he's That's out. A, and, man, yeah, gangster. And guess what advice Habib is gonna give Islam? Make the eagle sound. Game over, Dustin. Yeah. Game over, Dustin. From the top of the cage? Yeah. <laughs> Just the sound. Eagle, right. brother. Let's end this week's news. Uh, There's a fun little thing here. We'll see what you guys think. Oh! <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck? Bro, the edit makes it look so crazy. Oh! oh. He Rolling he... thunder. <laughs> My boy, look. So it's I just like why am I? I was more fascinated. Why am I a ref? I was I was fascinated with like what this is. It's an MMA Super Cup, but it's uh, I guess amateur, but it's it's country versus country. So I think it's what it's Mexico versus I don't know what the other guys cover from Ireland. It looks is like that a soccer. Game. Oh Ireland, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of fucking cool. But the, my boy from Mexico is trying to be Yair Rodriguez, dude. <laughs> For real, yo. But if you're with the Rolling Thunder, why sick. was the ref? Oh, because the bell. That's why he got that really Rolling Thunder too was so far away from his opponent. But they're not the ref. <laughs> not it, bro. I watched this so many times. <laughs> Dude, look at his neck just snap sideways. Oh my god. Dude, the coach is gonna be fucking lecturing him. Why the most <laughs> shit of the night so far? <laughs> you hit him with the fucking rolling thunder upside his head. Why would you do that to the ref? And the way he fell was like, fuck, I'm fucked. I'm so fired after this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like he's so bummed. Why? Oh, this my is so embarrassing. Right oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <Shut the fuck laughs> Yo, up, that shit's tight as fuck. Hey, see translation. What does it say? <laughs> They're like Gilbert's gay. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Accidentally got into the referee. Okay, that is funny. Is oh. the translation, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Oh, oh, man. Dude, man, Sean Strickland, dude, I feel bad for. Yeah, that kind of bummed me out. I didn't like watching that. <laughs> yeah, and I laughed for the wrong reason. I thought it was a joke. Yeah, uh, but it will be clipped out and just you laughing. All right, perfect. <laughs> hey guys, well, listen to the whole podcast. I thought it was like him yeah. joking and shit, because like who would have fucking thought? But yo, Sean Strickland, man, get better, dude. Yeah. Um, very, very entertaining fighter, man. You've you've given us such great cards, dude. I hope you kind of get help. Yeah, up here. On a yeah, side note, uh, with that, Drickus kind of uh, is open to fighting Sean or Izzy. He wants the fans to actually vote online, and that's who he'll fight next. Hopefully, it's not Sean. Give Sean a break. Cause Sean been, been chirping saying he actually won that fight. Oh, yes. he did win that fight. Yeah. So he, but I'm like Sean, just take a break. Yeah. Take a break. All right, UFC fight now. Let's do some quick picks. We got Hebas versus Nama Yunus, and I feel like I haven't seen Nama Yunus in a while. She, she fought Fiero. 
Was that recent? How long ago was that? That was her last fight in France. She fought Man and Firo. She won. And she's not ranked? Oh, flyweight. New division. Interesting. New division, brother. All right, we got uh, Alex Lifgata Costa's girlfriend, Amanda Hibas versus Rose. <laughs> what do you guys want, former champ or a new blood? I always go Rose Namo Nunez. Yeah, Rose is too slow. Rebus is great. Like, I usually root for her all the time, and it's not like I'm not rooting for her in this fight, but it's like, I just feel like I could, I could see Hebas run into a shot. Mm. Yeah. Because she's so aggressive, and... and and Rose is so slick. She loves that shit. So I could see her be over aggressive and just run, run her into something, whether like a head kick or a. Ooh, who is Carl Williams? Do you know Carl Williams? That's is that when I saw that name. Casual. It, it's just oh, such a bad. funny name. Hey, by the way, who that? <laughs> yeah, who is that? <laughs> it sounds like a reg, like a mall cop. <laughs> yeah, so it sounds uh, like a TV sitcom. Yeah, can we yeah. get Carl Williams on the second floor next to the hot topic? <laughs> We have some some kids here causing problems, Carl. <laughs> the uh, big Simone trying to steal things. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Carl Williams is supposed to fight Junior Taffa, but the brothers did a little switch. Oh. So now just so Carl now gets to fight Justin. What yeah. a surprise! What if he's pissed? He's like, fuck! Uh, I, I know. Junior the guy's ass. I gotta fight this fucking guy. Damn. He's the sicker brother with the sitcom music in the back. <laughs> <laughs> family and matters. Yeah. It's the family matters song. It's okay, big guy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with Justin Taffa. You always gotta go with the uh, these. Uh, What's his uh, training camp have been like? How long? Taffa. Yeah. How, when when, when did was he find the last out? one? Dog. Anytime I see the fight, I just flip a coin. I go, yeah. oh, fucking who knows? Yeah. Dude. Who fucking knows? I'll go Taffa still. You know what? Screw it. Carl Williams. Let's go Mall Cop. You go Mall Cop. Yeah. Any Polynesian, I always go with Polynesian just because I like Polynesian people. It's Justin right. Toff. Fucked up you went against your own people, Go. Nah, man. Justin Mall Toff. cops. They need love too, dude. All right. <laughs> All right. We got Nick's former favorite fighter who he thought was going to be champion eight years ago, Edmund Shabazian versus AJ Antoine Dodson Dobson. Let's go, Edmund. We like Edmund, right? Glendale all day? Glendale uh, all day, kind of. Glendale? Hey, bro. I always rep Glendale all day. Check out the new Dintai Fung in Glendale. Bro, I'm, I'm going to go Edmund, dude. Let's go Edmund. Uh -oh. I don't know enough about AJ Dobson to even make a decision, but I, you know, hide your kids, hide your wife, baby. Uh, <laughs> bro, he looks like Wesley Snipes. I like it. Oh, no, he doesn't. Bro, You don't what? like Wesley Snipes? That you think a, look, that's a daywalker. You think he look like Wesley Snipes? That's a daywalker. I think that right there is just a black man, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's <laughs> that's just a black guy. He gave Carl Lewis mall cop, but can't give fucking homeboy mall, anything? Mall, you didn't say he looked like somebody. Yeah, mall cop doesn't have a race attack. <laughs> pull up, pull up. <laughs> Go back to AJ Dobson again. What other black guy do you think he looks like? John Jones. Morris Chestnut. <laughs> Morris Chestnut. <laughs> he looks more like Morris Chestnut than he does fucking Wesley Snipes. Who's the actor from This Is Us? This Is Us. What's that? Exactly. Yeah, that's not him at all. They're way different. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see yeah. when he walks out. You're confused yeah. what show you're watching. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, he fought. I forgot. He fought uh, Pat Patrick Riley. Riley. <laughs> Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Pat Riley. He Pat really Riley. doesn't like Pat. He does look like Pat, dude. <laughs> All right, Peyton Talbot versus Cameron Saiman. I like Cameron. Saiman. He he's good. Dude. He's a he's cricket a, boy. Yeah, same camp. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go South Africa, brother. Me yeah, too. Cameron's fucking dope, man. Um, Slick with it. Don't know much about Peyton. So I mean, this is why these choices are hard for me. I only know one person, but I do know watching Cameron fight, he's pretty fucking sick. I'm a, that's a good underdog. He lost to Christian Rodriguez, though. I yeah, believe. but Christian Rodriguez different, don't you know me? Yeah, he different, dog. Simon just took him down the whole time and they gave the fight to <laughs> yeah. Rodriguez. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Nick, who do you got for this? You got the South African. I, I got uh, South Africa. Great. We got Billy Quarantilo. I like Billy. Zalal. I like Billy Q. Blue. But I Q's a natural pig, but kind of I like to support Moroccan. I mean, fighters. he got he got need by fucking uh, Barbosa soup. He needs but. one. I like going for fighters who just are coming off a loss because I, I don't like them having two in a row. Makes me sad. Put the yeah. pressure on them and shit. Fuck, I don't even know, man. These these are all just gonna be up in the air for me because I don't know Yusuf Salal. So I'm just gonna go with Billy. All right, Fernando Padilla versus Luis Pajel. Is is this Luis's uh, first fight? I believe so, if you got that photo. Because uh, he, I think there was this other Peruvian dude that fought in the UFC who was a really slick This is his first him. fight. He doesn't know him. Never mind. Corazon de Leon, was it? That was his nickname? That's Fernando funny. Padilla is so lanky. He's good. Fernando's yeah, good. Yeah, I'm going to go Fernando. I think he's like future champ shit. Yeah, yeah. He's. Slick. I'm telling you, there's more Mexican went? fighters. Oh, yeah, that's right. Toss up for all these guys. Julian Arosa versus Ricardo Ramos. That's a sick fight. This is what happens when you just run out of fighters. 
Like we we have this card where we're trying to pick picks of people we don't have. Not that I'm saying they're not good. I just haven't, I haven't seen, seen enough. Fight. Yeah, the, the yeah. matchups are going to be good. I think these are going to be good fights because Miles Johns, he's a tough motherfucker. Cody Gibson's really good too. <gasps> what the dude, man? What is a Vietnamese dude? I'm yeah, going Steven for him. Win. I'm going for. He fought in the Contender Series. He won. Well, he good? Yeah, I think he killed right. some dude. He better be some Netherlands, dude. Uh, fuck it. Guy, Steven, probably. the fucking no man to win all the way, baby. Oh, oh David's favorite shit. fighter, the Monsters. Hey, man. Mohammed. Mohammed. Once again, no disrespect, but I like highly technical fighters. Whoa, dude. And it looks like you learned how to walk yesterday. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mo I would never say this to your face because I'm a pussy. Yeah. But, Mohammed, you are a shadow of your brother. Whoa, but can he handle Mick Parkin? That's a great name. I mean, what the fuck is this guy? It's it's one of those fighters we talked about where you give heavyweights. No, nah, he's like, sick. Scroll down. No, no, no. He's he, not one of he's those. A, he's a lean heavyweight. Look. Oh. Bro, he beat. I'm sorry. He was scrapping with pogies. It wasn't like, you know, it was, it was the coolest fight, but Dude, he was scrapping with him. Some of these, like, heavyweights are just carbon copies of each other in different races. <laughs> this he, is crazy, for, dude. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> it's I, the I, same people, but just yeah. and race change AI. It's like Sims. <laughs> <laughs> just click and you just change the skin color. Man, look, I feel like I'm really harsh on Mohammed Usman because you of his, are, dude. Pretty it's be, harsh. It's because of his last name. You know, he's like connected to greatness. Yeah, that's true. That's so, true. like, that's just me being. You are you are held to a different standard. That's just what it is. You know, and when I, you are a famous uh, fighter's brother, and your first name is a prophet. Yep, like, there you go, dude. <laughs> oh shit, dude. That's a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. A part of me is like I, I want to pick Mohammed because he black, and that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other one is the other guy is he white, but I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I don't I think Mohammed Usman should win. He had, he had more experience, you know. I'm He's a, fought better guys. I'll go Mick Parkin just because. Damn. I'm going Mohammed. I'm Usman. going Mohammed Usman, man. I think he's gonna win. I think that's a good underdog pick. And then I think he fights uh, that Cuban guy, that Cuban heavyweight, and then. That's where Jorgen De Castro. <laughs> Jorgen De Castro. Is that who you're hey, Jorgen De Castro. Oh, you're talking about uh, uh, our Taekwondo uh, brown slash. Robellis. 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 Robellis is Robellis first him would be sick. That's Robellis, he actually has a fight coming up. Who's he going Already? May, May 11th. How do you know? Wait, who's he fighting? It, it was just announced today. He's fighting uh um, Jay Collier. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, please. Another Sims please character. Don't, please me, don't do that to Jake. Look it I'm up right me. now. It's actually a good fight. Robellis is fighting already? Damn. Oh, it's against that guy, that heavyweight that was showboating, but he couldn't even knock out Andre Olovsky. Who? Oh, the Brazilian cat. Yeah. Mm. I hope Rebellis knocks him the fuck out. That's oh, Waldo good. Cortez Acosta. Yeah. Waldo over here showboating. He couldn't do anything to him. I don't remember that. Fight. Yeah. Dude, I'm so excited for Robellis. I will watch every Robellis fight. Robellis is going to knock this fool out. Let's go. Damn. Take him to ESPN 56 in St. Louis. Or you get knocked out by a guy named Waldo. Damn. That's dude. rough. That's tough. That's probably why he became a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> got bullied all the time. <laughs> Yo, Waldo. Yeah. You gonna beat me up, Waldo? Uh, <laughs> I've never met a Brazilian with the name Waldo before. <laughs> the fuck is that about, man? <laughs> I mean, that uh, is true. All right. Uh, guys, make sure you like this video and you subscribe to us. Also, David, do you have a question for our beautiful casual audience? Uh, first of all, before we end this podcast, yes. to any fighter that's listening to this in the future. <laughs> yeah, disclaimer, we'll put it at the top. Remember, I'm a comedian by trade, so I'm just yeah. making jokes. It's like it's like we're just I have to say this because I feel like we're getting more traction and the closer I'm getting my ass whooped. Yeah. So yeah. we should put a meter somewhere. Remember, but this is this is the fun game though. This Brother, is the fun game. Brother, is how it? close we can get David to get his ass kicked, but this not. is all jokes. All right. I don't obviously you're better than me. You're so much cooler. Your your cocks are way bigger, even the female fighters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can't stop. I'm so sorry. No, keep going. Okay, Nick's yeah. like sweating over here. Dude, this right. is sick. No, this is. I think is a good apology. I All think right. we need one. Yes. Yeah. Every like ten episodes, we need to do an apology for <laughs> this because we all just make jokes here. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just fun time. This is why we're called the Casuals. Yeah. So if yeah. you ever come on this podcast and you're like, "Hey, you were saying this shit," I am going to deny it. Look, we have no talent, and that's why we're or except <laughs> a body shot if a fighter comes on here. That you've oh yes, but I will be wearing three wow. body shields. There you go. So <laughs> just to let you know, I wish I. Was you and I wish I could do what you do. There we go. That's why I sit here and I just make jokes. And we, there we go. I am a casual. I respect you so much, Sean Strickland. I hope you get better, man. Honestly, I didn't hear what you said in that video, but now knowing the full context of it, I feel like fucking shit because I thought you were joking, but you aren't. Yeah. So please get better, man. Uh, mental health 
is wealth, my friends. Yeah. Ooh. Better, better help, yo. right? Yeah, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp.com uh, slash sponsor us. Please, <laughs> dude, please. But question for you guys. Uh, let's see. Oh, speaking of tongues, speaking of tongues, speaking of tongues. Oh, shit. <laughs> sick one. D- did John Jones or Tom Aspinall win that exchange? Yeah, who won like that? that exchange? And tell us like, why. Tell, tell, tell us, us why. why. This one. The longer the paragraph, the more, I don't know, just write a paragraph. All right, guys, that's our show. We love you guys so much. See you next. Okay, bye. Bye.